Hi, it's Dean Holland from DeanHolland.com with this tutorial video showing you how to upload files to your web space using FTP, which is basically File Transfer Protocol. Um, to do this I use a program called FileZilla, uh, mainly because it's actually free. Um, you can get this by going, if you go to Google and type in FileZilla and do a quick search for that, uh, you'll find that come up first in the, in the search results and you can just go ahead and download that for free. Okay, so once you've downloaded it, you want to bring that up on your screen. Let me just do that. Okay, so here we are within the FileZilla application. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few areas on this screen, so I'll explain to you what those are in a moment. Uh, but first, you just need to log into your sort of web space uh, client here. So at the top of the screen, you'll see host, username, password, and port. Um, your host is basically your domain. So you enter that there. Uh, your username is the username you log into your cPanel with and again the password is the password you log into your cPanel with uh, the port section you can leave empty and then if you just click quick connect um, but just to point out if you're unsure of what to enter in these um, or you have a problem just consult your hosting provider and they'll let you know what to put in there so like I say then click quick connect and this will just connect to your server here there we are, all connected. Uh, so just to explain what these areas are, this local site section here at the top left, um, this is the files that are on your computer. Um, below that is the files within the file that you select on your computer. For example, if we're in the pictures file, um, then this will show you all the files that are within that pictures folder. Uh, moving over to the right, you've got the remote site section. Uh, this is basically, if you click the expand there, this shows you all the folders that are on your web space. And typically when you're uploading fo files, you want to upload them to the public underscore HTML section. So if we select that, uh, then in the screen below you'll see all the files and folders that are on your web page. Um, so right, if you want to choose on your computer which files you wish to s upload, um, for this example I'm going to upload a shot.jpg file which is an image. So if I go into my images file on my right hand side here, double click to open that, you'll see all the files contained within there. And all you basically do is double click the files you wish to upload. And then at the bottom of the screen it will tell you the situation and Oh, this has just popped up because I've already got that uploaded, so I'll just click OK to overwrite that. And here we are. Just wait a second, and there you go, that's uploaded. And that's all there is to it. Okay, thank you.